Good morning. Welcome back. It is Wednesday. I think we're in focus. We're going to see. Yeah, look, it's in a lot better focus than what we were yesterday. So perfect. Uh, <coughs> this camera has three, or this phone has three different, it's like an alien. It has three eyes on the back. Um, one is obviously the camera lens, what you see. I'm not sure what the other two do. I think one is kind of like a focal lens or a focal something or other. And the other one is uh, kind of keeps the light in check and, the, and, and such. So if one of those gets smudged up, which I had been cleaning it, but unfortunately I didn't clean it well enough, I think, that it was just making everything really, really um, upsetting yesterday for me. I don't want to say upsetting, but it was very frustrating. That'd be a better word. And I just had a cat jump up here on the boxes beside me. So hopefully he does not knock anything down. And uh, that did not go as planned, so he did knock something down. We may have to pause this and kick him out of the room. So, Sorry about that. We are back. We had to kick the kitten out of the room so we can rip two hobby packs of 2019 Panini Donruss. Uh, he had just knocked over a couple of items of uh, non-significance, but uh, there were some stacks of cards here that he was getting really, really close to, and I did not want him to knock those over. So the easiest way is just take him out of the room, and you may hear him whine here in a minute, but that is life. But here's our 2019 Panini Donruss Hobby Box. Picked that up recently on Dave and Adams. Find one auto, two mem cards per box on average. Uh, Optic delivers the hottest Optichrome inserts, including ultra rare gold vinyl. That'd be nice to get a gold vinyl. I'm going to pick up the camera so we can zoom in here, show you all the print runs on these, and moving forward, we will be doing the print runs on the packages or the wrappers. And I'm just going to do this each time we do this. We'll have 12 videos eventually out of this. One, two, three, four, five, six, etc. Just to keep it simple. And right off the top, we have a thick pack. So that might be one of our mem cards. We will find out here in a minute. But again, Panini does a pretty good job with all their wrappers. It's odd that 2019 has the car and not the driver. I mean, the driver's on the box, but the car's on the wrapper. And I think that's the only year they did that. I find that a little different, a little odd. And what a way to start off. Race Kings with the King, Richard Petty. Michael McDowell, who's got three poles this year. That's pretty impressive. He's had a... Went uh, his whole career prior to this year without ever getting a pole. And we got DW Jaws name variation. So we'll set that off to the side. Matt Tift, 86 baseball throwback. Bobby Allison, Legends. We have a Rusty Wallace turned around backwards for some reason or another. It is numbered 118. It's either, yeah, 118 out of 199. So that's probably his win either in the eight, probably the Winston because he does have the Winston hat on. Decade, decades of speed, Jimmy Johnson's a nice looking insert, as well as the Tony Stewart optic, and then we have an expired code card. So wow, that was a very strong first pack. Very strong first pack. Second pack, again, getting right into it, and we do have a thick card here, so... We'll kind of work this. Well, it might not. Nope, it is something. So I don't feel a relic, so it just may be an auto. So we have the Gray Border Ryan Reed. Originals, Eric Almarola. Cole Custer, Optic. 86 throwback. There's our whatever that thing is. It's expired. Daniel Hemrick, when he was driving for Childress in the Xfinity Series. Kyle Larson, so big news yesterday, he did get his waiver. I'm indifferent about that. I got opinions that can go both ways, so we'll just leave it at that. Ty Dillon, still looking for that first top 10 of the year in trucks. Chase Elliott, and let's, let's just use the code card they gave us. They were gracious enough to give us something to cover up with and be a little decent here. So let's see who this card is of. Okay, it's going the other way. Wish they'd put them all in there. Signature series. And it is Trevor Bain. So not too shabby. 
autograph is guaranteed by Panini America. Not sure why they have to put the autographs on these thick cards. I mean, maybe they just had some of those thick stock cards and they're like, here, let's do something with these. Let's let's make something happen. It is not numbered. It's a little awkward for a hobby box. So it's kind of a toss-up for me because I really like that Rusty Wallace numbered card there. Being a black bordered card, that's going to be, you know, there you can see a little chipping on that corner there. So that would not grade well at all because of that chipping. But is what it is with a black border or a dark, very dark bordered card. And I grab the wrong size sleeve. Those are my thick card sleeves. So let's try this again, put Rusty in the soft sleeve top load earthquake mode here on the phone. So I think Trevor gets the nod for card of the day being an autograph. So that's, is that going to be our one autograph? That's, that's kind of bummer that we hit the autograph right out of the top. So Trevor Bain, card of the day, Rusty Wallace, close second. I guess it could be interchangeable depending on what your views are on each driver and your thoughts about sticker cards and numbered cards and so forth but even within this stack that that's a pretty nice looking decades of speed card and that smoke optics is a nice looking card too so overall really really good first two packs unfortunately starting off strong i don't like the looks of the rest of the box but maybe we'll get lucky and we'll get one of those one of ones or we'll get a printing plate or maybe we'll get something cool in there we'll just have to wait and see but anyway thanks again for watching really really do appreciate it make sure you come back at noon for fast packs We'll be ripping the last pack out of our box of 1991 Tracks Racing. So we'll see you then. Have a good Monday. Or Wednesday. Whatever day this is. Have a good one.